Hello friends, this video straight line part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched straight lines part 1 to part 5. Now let's discuss point slope form. If we have this slope known, we know the slope known. This is known to us. 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever the value is known to us. Then we can find the equation. So with that, we should know at least one point. For example, we know the value of p dash. That is x0 and y0. This value is also known. Then we can write the equation in this form. y minus y0 is equal to m into x minus x0. Where this value is known, this value is known, this value is known. For example, when we say that this is equal to 1 comma 2 and m is equal to 5. So again, in this case, we'll have the equation y minus 2 is equal to m into x minus 1. And m is nothing but 5, so it will be 5. So this will be the equation we'll get. So we'll solve this, we'll get something like y minus 2 is equal to 5x minus 5, or we get 5x minus y minus 3. This is the final equation we get. So now what we are trying to say is that if we know the slope of the equation, slope of the line, and we know two, two coordinates x and y, that is one coordinate x, y, then we can write equation in this form x, y minus y naught is equal to m into x minus x naught. Why make like this? Because m we know is nothing but slope and that is nothing but y minus y naught by x minus x naught. We'll take my example. So we have to find the equation of a line which passes through minus 2 comma 3 and has the slope of minus 4. We'll draw the line here now. So let's assume this is the line we have. This is the line, this is the point P and this is the point Q. This is the line we have and slope of this line is equal to minus 4 and this passes through, for example, this point is minus 2 and now we have to find the slope equation of the line and this is x y any x y we know the formula formula is y minus y naught is equal to m into x minus x naught this formula we know or we can say y minus y naught is 3 here is equal to m is equal to minus 4 into x minus x naught is minus 2 x minus minus 2 this is the formula we get or we can say y minus 3 is equal to minus 4 into x plus 2 or we can say y minus 3 plus 4 into x plus 2 is equal to 0 or we can say 4x plus y plus y is equal to 0 and that is the equation of this line. What we have done? We have used this formula y minus y naught is equal to m into x minus x naught. We were given the value of m y naught x naught. We have put the values and we have got the equation 4x plus y plus 5 is equal to 0. In this example, we are asked to find the equation. Okay, starting again. Here we have to find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to line x minus 2y plus 3 is equal to 0 and that is passing through minus 1 comma 2. It's a very common question. To solve this, let's try this. We have this line and this line equation is x minus 2y plus 3 is equal to 0. This is the equation of the line. And then we have one more line that is perpendicular to this line. This guy is perpendicular. And this passes through 1 comma minus 2. 1 comma minus 2. We have to find the equation of this line. This is L. Now we see that we have this since this is let's suppose L1 and this is L2. 
since L1 and L2 are perpendicular, we know the equation of L1, L2, that means we know the slope of L2. Since both are perpendicular, we can find the slope of L1. So once we have the slope of L1 and we have one point of L1, we can find the equation. We know that if we know one point or one coordinate for a line and we know the slope of the line, we can find the equation of the line. So let's first find the slope of L2. To find the slope of L2, let's write this equation x minus 2y plus 3 is equal to 0 in the slope form. So what we get is 2y is equal to x plus 3 or y is equal to x by 2 plus 2 by 3. So if you compare this with y is equal to mx plus c form, what we get is m is equal to 1 by 2. So this guy m is equal to 1 by 2. This is m2 actually. And this is slope of line m2, l2. So this m2 is equal to 1 by 2. So we can say that or m2 is equal to 1 by 2. This is our equation. Now we know that m2 into m1 is equal to minus or 1 by 2 into m1 is equal to minus 1 or we say that m1 is equal to minus 2. So we know the slope of this line also. This slope is m1 is equal to minus 2. Now we have slope, we have one coordinate, we can find the equation. The equation is very simple. y minus y0 is equal to m into x minus x0. You know this. So what we get here is y minus y0 is 2 minus 2. So this becomes minus 2 is equal to m is nothing but minus 2. m is also minus 2 into x minus x0. That is x minus 1. So what we get here is y plus 2 plus 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. Correct? So what we get is y is equal to this 2 and this 2 cancel is equal to minus 2x. And that is the equation of the line. Very simple what we have done. We had this line and we know that the line which we are looking for is perpendicular to line L2. We found the slope of line L2 by writing this equation in slope form. We got the slope of L1. Now we have for L1 we have the slope, we have one point. We use this formula y minus y0 is equal to m into x minus x0 to get the equation of the. This is a very simple question. We have given been given a line 3x minus 4 by plus 2 is equal to 0. We have to find the equation of a line parallel to this line and passes through point minus 2 common 3. So here also we see we can find the slope of this line and the line which is parallel to this line will have the same slope. So we'll get the slope of that line and we know a point. So we have the slope, we have a point, we can find the equation. I'll try to show you what we are trying to prove here. Let's suppose this is the line and this is 3x minus 4y plus 2 is equal to 0. There is a line which is parallel to this line. So this is line is L and there is a point minus 2 comma 3. We have to find the equation of this line. This is L. I'll say this is L1 actually and this is L2. Now we have to find first slope of L1 because slope of L1 is equal to slope of L2. We need the slope of L2. We need we have this point so we can find the equation of this line L2. So let's find the slope of L1. So we'll write this 3x minus 4y plus 2 in the slope form or we can write this equation as 4y is equal to 3x plus 2 or we can say y is equal to 3 by 4x plus 2. So if you compare this equation with y is equal to mx plus c that is a slope form equation we can make out that m is equal to 3 by 4. That is m of line 1 is equal to 3 by 4. We know that since since L1 is parallel to L2, so M1 is equal to M2. Correct? Therefore, M2 will be equal to M1 will be equal to 3 by 4. So for the line L2, we have now for line L2, M is equal to 3 by 4. And there is a point P is equal to minus 2 by 4. 
Now we can form this equation y minus y naught is equal to m into x minus x naught. Or we can say y minus 3 because y naught is 3 here is equal to m is equal to 3 by 4 into x plus 2 because it is minus 2. x minus minus 2 is equal to x plus 2. Or what we get is 4y minus 12 is equal to 3x plus 6. Or we get 4y minus 3x minus 18 is equal to 0. Or we can also say this equation as 3x minus 4y plus 18 is equal to 0. If you want to write this equation in ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 form. And that is our answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.